we do have a set of standards and guidelines to ascertain that our members are willing and capable of doing effective therapy. And we do have committees which are devoted to this respect. At least 30% of our uh, members are medical doctors and some of them are professors in the universities. But not only those. We are not accepting only those. We I do accept that people who do not have the academic titles of uh, uh, the, uh, the academia, uh, they still can be very good therapists and as long as they can prove that to us. And we do accept that. We are open to that. What Earth is doing as an association and as um, a group who wants to make a difference is to see is this person really able to do a regression and not only that, is this person able to link the regression experience to the present day problem so that the client gets insights cognitively with common sense on how to transform the issue in his life. A certified therapist by Earth will have met with various um, requirements. They have a diploma from a school that at least offers a basic amount of things that we as a group think is necessary to do this job. And a nice extra is we have also an ethical com a committee. So if a client would think um, that it should have been done different, there is an intersubjective community who talks about it. We can, we can ask our colleagues, so what did you do with this person? Can you tell us the procedure you used? It's not mystical, it's not mythical, it is structured. When you are a member of Earth, you sign a code of conduct, you sign an agreement that you're open to questions on your work and also you show what your education is. There is a mandatory uh, number of um, accredited trainings that you need to do. We like to have people who are really involved in the work. So the difference between an Earth certified or Earth professional member and somebody who is not an Earth member could be that you are more trained, better trained and doing your work. But I must say there are very, very good people that are not members yet. We're inviting them. Well, if anybody is looking for a good therapist, the first thing I would say is if you have a referral from someone who you know, then follow that referral because quite often the advice of someone who's had that experience is, is really important. If you don't have that information, I would suggest go onto the Earth website and look at the therapists there, look at the profiles of them and read them. Um, find someone that's quite close locally to you, that's obviously convenient. But when you read the profile, you'll find there'll be something that will resonate in one of the therapists. And the words they use will have a special meaning for you. Trust your intuition, phone them up, and if it still feels right, then arrange an interview and to go with them. Uh, when clients are finding therapists, it's a little bit like a dance. And when two people are dancing together, there's a beautiful harmony. A client-therapist arrangement needs to be that beautiful harmony. And if people follow their intuition, they'll find that.